Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who make learning activities for kids. Our fun activities focus on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Catherine, and in today's activity, we will be learning all about how to tell time. For our first activity, we are going to be making a clock together. Let's make sure we have all the materials we need to make the clock. First, you will need two pieces of construction paper, whatever color you like. I chose this pink color and this light blue color. You will also need a pencil, a dark pen, some scissors, a thumbtack, an eraser, some glue, a small plate, a big plate, and some colored pencils for decorations. You can pause the video here to go grab all of your materials and when you're done, we can come back and do our activity. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today, we will be making an analog clock. An analog clock is a round clock with two hands. One hand tells you what hour it is and the other hand tells you what minute it is. An analog clock has 12 numbers on it. This is because there are 12 hours in the morning and 12 hours in the afternoon. These are known as AM, morning, and PM, afternoon. The little hand on the clock tells you what hour you are on and the big hand points to the minute. Each number going around the clock stands for five minutes. For example, if the big hand is pointing at the three, that means we are 15 minutes into the hour. So if we look at this clock in front of us, what time do you think it is? We can see the little hand is pointing at the two and the big hand is pointing at the 12, which means no minutes have passed into the hour yet. So it is exactly two o'clock. Okay, now that we have a review of analog clocks, let's get started on making our own. Grab a piece of construction paper and your smaller plate. Place your plate down on the paper like this. Grab your pencil and trace around the plate onto your paper. When you're done, you should have a circle like this. Now, we are going to grab our scissors and cut that circle out. Okay, now we have our smaller circle. Let's set that to the side and take out another piece of construction paper. I chose to use light blue. Take your larger plate, place it down on your construction paper like this. Trace around the plate again. And now we have another circle, but this one is bigger than our last circle. So let's cut this circle out. Okay, now we have our big circle from our bigger plate and our small circle from our smaller plate. Now, we're going to be making one more circle. This circle will be small. It's going to be smaller than this circle and this circle, and it will sit in the middle of the two circles right here. So, I grabbed this color of construction paper. You could use the same color that you already used before on these two other circles. I just decided to use something different. So, draw a small circle about two inches wide on another piece of construction paper. You could use something to trace this circle or you could just freehand it. So let's cut the circle out. Perfect. Now, let's glue all three of our circles together because we're making a clock. I'm going to take this big circle and I'm going to put my medium sized circle on top of it and try to line it up right in the middle. Then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to cover the back of my medium sized circle with glue, just like this. And I'm going to take that circle and put it right on top of my biggest circle and press down to make sure they stick together. Perfect. Now we have our small circle. Let's put some glue on that too. And let's glue that down right in the center. Take a look at my circles and see how yours compare. Do your circles look like mine? Is it starting to look like a clock yet? It will soon. Now, 
we are going to write the numbers on our clock. So, as we talked about earlier, an analog clock has 12 numbers on it. That's because there are 12 hours of the day twice. So, we have 24 hours in the day total. There are 12 hours in the morning and 12 hours at night. First, what we're going to do is we're going to write a 12 at the very top of our circles. So there's my 12. Then we're going to write a three on the right side of our circles over here. Then we're going to put a nice big six at the very bottom of our circles. Then on the left side, we're going to do a nine. Let's fill in the rest of our numbers. So, the clock will start at one here, then go to two and three. Let's fill in those numbers. So, we have one, two, three. Now, we're going to have four, five, six. Let's fill those numbers in. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we have to fill in seven, eight, nine. Let's fill those numbers in. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what are the last two numbers we need? What numbers are in between nine and 12? 10 and 11, let's fill those numbers in. Okay, now our clock is complete. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So these stand for one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. But we need some hands to point at the numbers on our clock. So let's make our hands. Let's take our pencil and a piece of construction paper. I'm going to use the same color that I used for this circle. And I'm going to make a big hand and a small hand. Now remember what we talked about earlier. The small hand shows the hour and the big hand shows the minutes. So let's draw out a small hand first. My hand is going to be long and it's going to have a little arrow right at the end of it. I'm going to measure out my hand so that it doesn't go all the way to the numbers, it's going to stop about right here. Okay, here I drew out my little hand. You'll see this little hand won't go all the way to the numbers, it'll go about halfway. Now, let's draw our big hand. Our big hand is going to be almost twice as big. We want our big hand to reach our numbers, okay? Here's our big hand. So, we have our small hand and our big hand. Let's cut them out. Make sure you're careful with your scissors while you're cutting this out. Here is our big hand, and here is our small hand. Notice the difference in size. What we're going to do is we want to put our big hand and our small hand onto our clock. We are going to place them in the center of the clock like this, and we are going to take the thumbtack that we got out at the beginning with all of our materials. And we are going to line up our hands right on top of each other in the middle of our dark circle in the center. And we are going to poke our thumbtack right through. Now be careful because the end of the thumbtack will be a little bit sharp. So make sure you're very careful as you're poking it through. You might wanna grab a parent or guardian to help you with this. To make sure we don't poke ourselves, what we're going to do is take that eraser that we got at the beginning and we are going to put that eraser on top of our pin so that it does not poke us. And I'm going to trim my eraser down a little bit. Okay, perfect. So here we have the eraser covering the sharp end of our pin and we have the hands on the front of our clock. So to me, it kind of felt like something was missing from our clock. So I gave him a face. I also gave him some polka dots and it looks like this circle in the middle of all of our circles 
is his nose and the hands are like a little mustache. You can pause the video here and decorate your clock kind of like mine, give it a face, give it a name. I think I'm gonna name this clock TikTok. And when you're done, we're gonna come back and we're going to practice telling time. For our first time, I'm going to position the hands on my clock and you're going to tell me what time it is. What time is this? We have our little hand pointing at the 10 and our big hand pointing at the three. Now remember, each of these numbers counts for five minutes. So we have five, 10, 15. So did you say 10, 15? That's correct. The time is 10, 15. Now, this is a little bit different. Our big hand and our little hand are pointing to the same number. What time is this? It's 12 o'clock exactly because our little hand shows that the hour is 12 and our big hand shows that we haven't had any minutes past 12. So it's exactly 12 o'clock. What about this? Did you say 4.30? That's correct. So our little hand is pointing at four, which tells us that the hour is four and our big hand is pointing at the six. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's 4.30. Now that we have a lot of practice with analog clocks, let's practice with digital clocks. So I don't have a digital clock to show you, but I wrote down some numbers that we can practice with. So for each of these times that I show you, I want you to tell me what time it is to the nearest five minutes. So for example, if I said that it is currently 12.04. The closest five minutes is 12.05 because we would round up from four to five. So our first time is 12.13 a.m. What is the closest five minutes to 12.13 a.m.? Did you say 12.15? That's correct. Let's write that down. Next, we have 8.54 p.m. What's the closest five minute mark to 8.54 p.m.? Did you say 8.55? Perfect. We round up from 8.54 to 8.55. Next, we have 11.59 p.m. Now think about this for a minute. When we go from 11.59 p.m. to 12 a.m., we change from p.m. to a.m. So if we were rounding up from 11.59 p.m., we would round up to 12 a.m. because now we're in the morning instead of the night. So our answer is 12 o'clock a.m. instead of p.m. Okay, next we have 4.31 a.m. What is the closest five minute mark to 4.31 a.m.? For this one, we would actually round down to 4.30 a.m. So the answer is 4.30 a.m. Okay, for our last one, we have 6.14 p.m. What's the closest five minute mark from 6.14 p.m.? We would round up to 15, so it would be 6.15 p.m. Make sure you understand how to answer all of these problems. You did a great job today. We learned all about telling time and we even made our own clock. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you join us again. Please like and subscribe and we'll be back soon with more videos.